Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we're going to look at Josh Doig's stance on Arsenal move as Hibernian set asking price and then we're going to look at Arsenal fans in transfer meltdown after Jack Grealish's six word admission. So the first transfer line states that Josh Doig's stance on Arsenal move as Hibernian set asking price. So the reports are stating that Hibernian will demand a fee in the region of £5 million for Arsenal transfer target Josh Doig. Mikel Arteta attempted to bring in a left back during the January transfer window after allowing Sead Klasnach to join Schalke on loan but was unable to source a reliable backup option for Kieran Tierney. Arsenal left short in the area after the Scotland international suffered a knee injury against Liverpool in April which forced Granit Xhaka to deputise in an unfamiliar position. Siad Kolasinac is due to return to Arsenal this summer that has already been deemed surplus in requirements by Mikel Arteta and has reportedly been interesting clubs from Turkey and Italy. Arsenal have been linked with former Southampton star Ryan Bertrand but the 31-year-old has entered into talks with Leicester City after his contract expired at the end of last season. Crystal Palace's Tariq Mitchell is another reported target but the Eagles are likely to be unwilling to part company with one of their most promising young players and could demand a fee in the region of, four, of the £45 million it took to persuade them to sell Aaron Van Bissaka to Manchester United two years ago. Josh Stoich has emerged as a genuine target and has his progress last term was rewarded with the Scottish Football Writers Association Young Player of the Year trophy. According to reports, however, even if Arsenal were to match Hibbs' asking price, the talented teenager is not 100% sold on a move to the Gunners. Josh Stoig is keen to nail down a regular first team spot and with Kieran Tierney blocking his path at the Emirates Stadium, his amount of game time would be severely restricted. Despite winning their last five games of the Premier League campaign, Arsenal missed out on European qualification for the first time in 25 years, meaning their focus will be restricted to domestic competitions next season, which would again limit Doig's potential opportunities. So it looks like Josh Doig's stance on Arsenal moves as Hibernian sets asking price. So it looks like Arsenal are now in the market for a left-back cover to Kieran Tierney, as we have learned this season to a very large extent that we need backups to positions and when it comes to Kieran Tierney we didn't have a backup and I don't know why Mikel Arteta didn't go with the backup for Kieran Tierney even if it was Siad Kulasa that she could have played in that position even when Kieran Tierney was injured and it probably would have been at least a little bit better than Granit Xhaka at left back but I thought the decision was made when it comes to Kieran Tierney not playing this season where we came 8th for the likes of maybe a Bukayo Saka to play in that position and allow other attackers to play in, in Bukayo Saka's position like Nicola Pepe on the right or someone like a Pierre Mkabamiang on the left or someone like the other players that are involved like Gabriel Martinelli and other players that could play on either wing. But it looks like Arsenal and especially Mikel Arteta was keen on playing Bukayo Saka up front and this has led to Arsenal now looking for a left back cover too. Uh, Kieran Tierney and it will, could be in the form of Josh Stoig but it looks like he's not keen on a move as he wants regular game time so you have to wait and see how this transfer pans out and this nicely takes us on to the second piece of transfer news which states that also fans in transfer meltdown after Jack Grealish's six word admission. So the reports are stating that the Aston Villa captain would be the dream signing for many Arsenal fans now that the summer transfer window is officially open but is the deal realistic? The summer transfer window is officially open and there's one deal that may that many Arsenal fans would love to see happen. Back in January, it was asked supporters on Twitter who they think they should wear the iconic number 10 shirt which became vacant after Meza Ozil's move to Fenerbahce. The options included Alexandre Lacazette, Captain Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Emil Smith-Rowe with the latter won by a landslide with 51.4% of the votes. However, at one stage, Aston Villa and England star Jack Grealish was leading the votes, a clear message to Mikel Arteta and Edu that he'd be the perfect summer signing for Arsenal. Although a move for Jack Grealish is unlikely as in the past, any deal for the Aston Villa playmaker would cost £100 million according to the Telegraph. But some fans are not losing hope. And that's mainly down to Jack Grealish's bond with Bukayo Saka, one that's gone from strength to strength this season and has continued at international level. 
Both have been named in Gareth Southgate's 26-man Euro 2020 squad and many also supporters will be hopeful that Bukayo Saka can convince Jack Grealish to join him at the Emirates Stadium. Interestingly, some fans have been sent into a transfer frenzy after Grat Grealish made an admission about Bukayo Saka. As seen in a tweet, Jack Grealish was asked to name the funniest player in the England squad and he replied with a six-word answer after mulling over his options. There's a few people that make me laugh. I'm going to go Bukayo Saka or Sanch, which refers to Jadon Sancho. The admission prompted a big reaction from some Arsenal fans on social media. One of you guys have commented please, another of you guys commented welcome to Arsenal, another of you guys have said at Arsenal, at Miklod Setsa, whatever it takes, sign at Jack Grealish. And the final person said Bukayo Saka, keeping the dream alive. And in terms of other guys of what you guys have said, another person has stated might as well just told us that he is joining Arsenal. Another person was Buendia was just smokescreen, yeah. And the final one of you guys stated Jack Grealish to also in a swap deal, lol. I mean, we can always dream about it. So it looks like also fans have got into a transfer meltdown after Jack Grealish's six-word admission. And with Aston Villa captain pretty much being a dream signing for all Arsenal fans and if that transfer really happens it will be amazing signing for the Gunners. I think it transformed this football club to another level, this football team to another level. We need that number 10 position filled with the long term replacements in Meza Ozil and it just gives you the vibes of when we signed Meza Ozil for that £40 million plus and Arsenal fans were really celebrating that moment but this will break that moment as well and be that long term replacement to Meza Ozil but for me realistically I think this is really really unlikely unless Bukayo Saka our star boy does something crazy to try and bring Jack Grealish lure him to the Gunners try and be tempted to a move to Arsenal even though we're in the worst possible situation for any good player to come to our club at the moment so we have to wait and see how this transfer pans out but then that guys remain blessed Stay tuned for the next video and peace.